we're here now because AI is already having a significant impact on our economy, safety, and democracy. The dangers are not just extinction, but loss of jobs, one of potentially the worst nightmares that we have. Each day, these issues are more common, more serious, and more difficult to solve. And we can't repeat the mistakes that we made on social media, which was to delay and disregard the dangers. So the goal, we solemnly swear that the testimony you're about to give is the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth. So help you God. Thank you. Today, certain steps in bioweapons production involve knowledge that can't be found on Google or in textbooks and requires a high level of specialized expertise, this being one of the things that currently keeps us safe from attacks. We found that today's AI tools can fill in some of these steps, albeit incompletely and unreliably. In other words, they are showing the first nascent signs of danger. However, a straightforward extrapolation of today's systems to those we expect to see in two to three years suggests a substantial risk that AI systems will be able to fill in all the missing pieces, enabling many more actors to carry out large-scale biological attacks. We believe this represents a grave threat to U.S. national security. Um, and uh, I would say my major concern with respect to elections would be disinformation and particularly uh, external influence campaigns uh, because uh, with these systems, we can present to the system a great deal of information about an individual, uh, everything they've ever written or published on Twitter or Facebook, um, their social media presence, their floor speeches, um, and train the system and ask it to generate a disinformation campaign particularly for that person. And then we can do that for a million people before lunch.